Our planet is in crisis. Extreme weather events, food and water shortages, depleting raw materials, growing waste and pollution and more are threatening our ecosystems and our very survival. Nanyang Technological University Singapore is taking these threats seriously and going the distance to save our planet. NTU continually advances the frontiers of knowledge with research that spans the globe, such as from as far as Antarctica and Switzerland to Southeast Asia. In fact, its smart campus in Singapore is a model of sustainable urban development for the world. We aim to live by example and demonstrate habits and behaviours to reduce our carbon footprint. We are transforming our campus into a living lab for testing innovative ideas for sustainability. It is no wonder that NTU has been recognised with an award by the International Sustainable Campus Network. More than 19,000 solar panels have already been installed on its buildings, with 13,000 more to be added by the end of this year. Its entire campus shuttle bus fleet runs on clean energy. And with eight zero energy buildings to date, NTU has the most number of such buildings in Singapore. Its newest is Gaia. This kind of wooden structure construction is using what is called as mass engineered timber to reduce carbon footprint by 20 to 30% as compared to a conventional building structure. The Energy consumption is entirely supplied by 800 PV modules and a passive displacement ventilation system reduces the overall energy consumption by about 15%. Our smart classrooms also contributes to about 10 to 15% energy reduction in the entire building. Sustainable buildings like Gaia are a key part of the university's plan to become carbon neutral by 2035. Under its 15-year sustainability manifesto, NTU has achieved 100% Green Mark certification for all eligible buildings. It also aims to work towards a 50% reduction in net energy use, water usage and waste generation by 2026, compared to baseline levels in 2011. To realize these goals, NTU launched a 1 billion Singapore dollar medium-term note program in 2021. We're holding ourselves accountable for these goals. So when we issued our sustainability-linked bond, we tied our financial obligations to our green targets. So our willingness to accept the risk of financial penalty signifies our commitment to work towards realising our very ambitious sustainability goals. Besides creating a smart, sustainable campus, NTU is working closely with industry to accelerate innovation for smart cities and translate research outcomes into future urban mobility solutions. Continental experts from Germany flew into Singapore to have a workshop with NTU professors to discuss about mutually beneficial collaborative areas for a smart city like Singapore. These technologies may usher in the era of electric vehicles, which in turn would help in climate change. Besides driving sustainable mobility technologies, NTU is leading the way in clean energy research. This offshore platform for testing renewable next-generation energy solutions will play a key role in Singapore's future power grid. NTU also wants to tackle waste management, a big problem globally, and especially for a small island state like Singapore. For example, this waste-to-energy research facility converts up to 97% of waste into useful materials such as slag, which can be used as a substitute for sand to produce concrete. Over at the Joint Centre with the French Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission, or CEA, NTU scientists are using discarded orange peel as a way to extract critical elements from used lithium-ion batteries. The researchers are now working with an industry partner on a pilot plant to bring the technology to market. The pilot plant allows us to recover valuable metals from the battery scrap at a meaningful scale. We are co-tackling two different waste streams, food waste as well as electronic waste. So we are definitely moving a few steps closer to a zero-waste nation. 
NTU scientists have also been innovative in trying to reduce food waste. They are turning prawn shells into sustainable packaging, fish innards into food supplements, and using discarded soybean residue to grow mushrooms. Even durian husks are not wasted. We use the fibers found in the durian husk. We add glycerol, another waste from uh, biodiesel and soap production, to form this hydrogel to be used as a bandage for wound healing. Enhancing Singapore's food security is another growing research area. NTU scientists are finding ways to help local farmers grow bigger fishes faster. Our fish feed contains two different ingredients. One of them is a nutrient, and the second is actually a probiotic. But the problem with the use of probiotics is that they are very sensitive microorganisms. What we are doing is to protect them using a special material that is resistant against the gastric juices in the stomach. The moment it goes into the small intestine, because of the change in the environment, the material actually breaks down and it releases all the probiotics there. And that's where the probiotics have the opportunity to actually colonize the gut of the fish, making the fish disease resistant and healthier as well. Besides the food we eat, NTU researchers are also concerned about the air we breathe. Microorganisms are spreading faster and further in the atmosphere, and these scientists are studying how global warming affects the pathogens and pollutants and the knock-on effects. As the temperature increases globally, organisms reach higher heights in the atmosphere and they're being distributed along greater distances, then transported into terrestrial but also aquatic ecosystems and this might actually lead to a great disruption in the way that global ecosystems functions in the future. Research is now ongoing to find out how that impacts human health. We need to understand how that temperature change affects microbes in the air that you and I are breathing and what the health consequences of that can be. Another health hazard that NTU wants to address is the lack of access to clean water by underprivileged communities in Asia. Besides developing affordable and effective solutions, the university's scientists and students are educating the local community on the harmful effects of pollution on health. When it comes to educating its undergraduates, NTU is taking a holistic and interdisciplinary approach to nurturing eco-champions crucial to the sustainability of our planet. Every NTU undergraduate takes a series of Interdisciplinary Collaborative Core, or ICC, courses, including two related to sustainability. The instructors come from multiple disciplinary backgrounds. The students come from different disciplinary backgrounds. They are required to do group projects in teams and the whole idea is that that's how the real world is like. To inspire students, experiential learning is a key component of the NTU pedagogy. And as long as we continue to expose and open ourselves to learn more about it, nature is actually our classroom. The biggest takeaway for me from the Antarctica trip was how fragile the whole environment is. I do see like the fractures in the ice sheets, things that I read about and I see it right before my eyes. This gives me a very stark reminder that, you know, we are really in a climate crisis. Beyond gaining first-hand experience conducting research on the white continent, the NTU team laid the groundwork for future collaborations with international researchers. Going to Antarctica is for Singapore to be part of the international scientific community, trying to address one of the climate emergencies of our time. The Antarctic ice sheet will influence every single person in Singapore and every other low-lying nation. Sea level rise from melting ice sheets due to global warming will severely impact everyone on this planet. NTU students are taking action to provide practical solutions that can help mitigate the effects of climate change. For example, these students designed and built a hydrogen-powered car, which came in second in two categories at the prestigious Shell Eco Marathon held in Indonesia in 2023. 
with the knowledge I've learned participating in this competition and the things that I've built, I can bring this experience into my career in the future. Another undergraduate, Carlo Charles, founded a startup to develop and commercialize sustainable paper batteries, invented by two NTU professors. We're focusing firstly on soft electronics and small electronics that can be powered with tiny batteries. Then things like EVs or battery solutions out there like for renewable energy. And the last one is consumer electronics to make things much safer, cheaper and more sustainable in the long run. The seeds of sustainability are sown across the campus. By getting the NTU community to come down for tree planting events, we hope that they will gain a sense of responsibility to maintain the NTU campus for future uh, generations of NTU students. I think that is very important for sustainability. Yeah. But this one is pretty good, though. Corals are actually hardier than a lot of others, like in the Great Barrier Reef and stuff. Uh, simply because our waters are warmer. Our best hope is really to equip young people from the NTU community at large not just with the skills, but with the heart and the passion to go out and do something. Indeed, many NTU alumni are bringing these passions into their careers and creating real-world impact. I want to be able to promote sustainability and bring about positive outcomes for the environment. My role now is to ensure that the environmental and social performance of a project is compliant with national and international standards. Another alumna, Celine Ng, works at a venture capital firm that invests in promising agri-food tech startups. She came from NTU with this association with Wageningen University uh, in agriculture and food sciences, so we really like that. But I think more importantly for us is this intellectual curiosity, this desire to learn more beyond conventional wisdom and the idea that you, know, you should challenge that, especially when you're working with companies at the forefront of innovation. An ardent sustainability advocate, Celine is raring to do more to save our planet. I feel really inspired to be able to drive real impact in the food industry and even dream of completely revolutionizing and changing the food system. Not only are its alumni eager to do their part to save the environment, the university is poised to take sustainability education to the region. NTU has partnered the United Nations Institute for Training and Research to set up a center in Singapore to train policymakers and government leaders. We want to help create greater capacities in the region so that together we can work towards achieving some of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We really want to walk the talk. Sustainability is about securing the future for our planet Earth, for future generations. The world is at a crossroads. The choices we made today will determine our path to the future. It is crucial that each of us play a part by taking small steps, for example, conserve energy, saving water, reducing waste, and making greener choices by what we consume. This is behavioral change at the individual level. Each individual action taken collectively as a community has a significant impact on the environment. I often invite people to NTU to experience firsthand how beautiful and sustainable our campus is. I hope that NTU can be an inspiration to everyone.